I saw 9-11 in 1999 before, and I, on New Year's Eve that night, I said there's going to be terrorism, there's going to be a bombing in New York and in Washington, D.C. I said it would be at a high defense location in D.C., which the Pentagon's about as high as you can get defense location, Amazing. which I never, he didn't Amazing. say Pentagon, he says high defense location in D.C. There'd be an uh, explosion there, and then and off this side, Lori, what did I write off this side in, in the paper, do you remember? Great airplanes. Great airplanes. And then uh, I saw people running in terror. And do you know on 9-11, the day the bombings took place, the explosions, the airplanes, my daughter called on the phone and said, Daddy, Daddy, they're bombing New York. And I'm trying, I couldn't even get the TV on. I was so, my hands were shaking. And I turned on, and there, so help me. That's what she saw. I saw. See, you're a seer. I saw. Yeah. I saw. The scene yeah. on TV was exactly what I had seen, that vision that That's night. Right. The first time we ever convened this Council of Prophets that I'm talking about was 1999. And God gave us a word that there was something coming that was horrific. It was 9-11. And a lot of people, I think Mike Bickle had had a dream about a big ship hitting the East Coast. And so I said to our group, I said, the Lord showed me we are to pray as if it's our child that would die. That's right. We are to get in the gap. And I'll never forget, the Lord finally said to us, that guy Jim LaFoon said, the Lord says this cannot be stopped, but it can be lessened. We had a word. I think we've got to stop 9-11. I believe with all my heart 9-11 was somewhat of a judgment only because God could have stopped it. I'm not saying God sent it. I don't know. But he does send judgment. But God had to let his hand down of protection for those planes to come in and hit those buildings. He did. I believe it was a warning. 